Aloha, and in this video, we will show you how to do exercise 4.1 in the AP Pictures project. Okay, so exercise 4.1 in the AP Pictures project is a little bit difficult to parse and, and understand exactly what they want you to do. So in this video, we'll try and explain this to you. If we look at the PDF for the pictures project, you will see you will get something like this. Okay, the statement here, write a get count method in the interray worker class that returns the count of the number of times a past integer value is found in the matrix. There is already a method to test this in interray worker tester. Just comment the method test get count and call to it in the main method of interray worker tester. Okay. So to do this particular exercise in the pictures project, you should have an Eclipse open, the AP pictures project like this, right? And you can see here, I also have open the interray worker class and the interray worker Java class. Yep. So to do this, okay, you should have both of these open now. Now, before we continue, I should probably explain how all of these these two files work together. Okay. So that's basically this here. Okay. With these files, right, basically interray worker tester Java is a program file. And it's like your favorite program with and it has a main method. Now what interray worker.java is, it's an object class similar to a string class or the array list class, except that it's an interway, interway worker Java is a custom object class that provides different methods, such as get total, fill count, etc., And it operates on a two dimensional array named the matrix. Okay. So now we'll learn more about custom object classes and writing programs for custom object classes later in the semester, but you should understand that this is what we're doing. And once you understand how these are related, the programming of them isn't too bad. Okay, so let's look at this again. Okay, so if we look at this, let's look at in interray worker tester, right? As mentioned, interray worker tester is a program file. You can, and you can see here, there are various methods here test methods that test various function methods in the interray worker class. Okay, so you can see here test, 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 and some of these are commented. And at, at the very end, you see the main here, main, main method here, which runs these particular test methods. Okay. Yep. Now, so you see here about interray worker tester is that Okay, there is already a method to test this is in interray worker tester. Just uncomment the method test get count and call to it in the main method of interray worker tester. Okay. So we're going to do that first before we actually develop the the get count method. Okay, so we'll go that and we can see here and see here this is test get count there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to comment these, uncomment these like that, right? And notice in this method, the when you have the interray worker variable called worker, right? And we put dot get count, we get an, a syntax error here. And notice this is because the method get count in is undefined for the type interray worker. And this is why the next thing we're going to do is to actually implement the get count method in interray worker. Okay. Then we also have to this, and we also have to uncomment it out here in main. Like that. All right. Okay, if we want to, we can also comment out the other test methods or not. In this case here, I'm going to just do that just so that we can make sure that 
we're only testing that. But you can comment and uncomment these other test methods as necessary. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's save that. What we want to do, notice that the error from get count, is now we need to edit int array worker to add the get count method. And now if we look at the description of the get count method here, right, it says write a method get count in int array worker class that returns the count of the number of times a pass integer is found in the matrix. So let's do the header for this, right? And this, we'll just put it here under get total, right? And it's public int get count, count, right? Right, because it returns the count, right? So it's, it re in, and then we have int target, which is the value that we're going to be searching for. Okay, target, right, like that. Okay, and notice that the header for the get count method does not include a static, which is what we've been using so far. Up until now, right, whenever we've created our programs with a main method, right, all of our methods have had static. Um, we'll learn more about this later, but it's because interarray worker is a object class, we don't want to put static into the header there. Okay. Now we have to count the number of times the integer target appears in the two-dimensional array known as the matrix, which is up here. Okay. So let's go and do that. Okay, we'll go and do that. And for this right we have to remember we want to create a count variable int count is equal to zero and we want eventually we want to return count return count like that right so that's our count right and now to count the number of times the target integer appears in the matrix we want to loop through every row and every column in 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 the matrix right and then add one to count if if it's the same as target so if you look here right you can kind of see that get total does a very similar thing right it returns get total returns the total of all the values in the array and it does it by just going through and doing a cumulative sum of every single row row column in the two dimensional array so we can actually copy this logic here, right? We can copy this logic here, paste it down here. And then what the thing that we need to change, right, is we need to change this from, since we're not adding every single cell or every single row column combination, what we want to do, we want to just say, if, matrix row column column equals equals target like that then we want to count we want to add to count okay. oops not equal equal but plus plus Right, like that. Right, and this, so in this case, we're looping through every single row and column. And if that particular cell, row column, equals a target, we add to count. Now, if we save this, right, that's our set. And we go to interray worker tester here. We can run it. Run. And we can see here that it says count should be six and count is six. That tells us that what we did was correct. Yep. We have interior worker does. So that's it for how to do 4.1. You will find that 4.2 and the other exercises in this particular activity are pretty similar. But I just wanted to show you how to do this, this particular one, because it did involve some ideas that we haven't covered too much in class so far. But we will learn more about it later. Anyway, thank you very much.